Welcome back to Sports Tonight on Channels Television. Let's go uh, to Guana. Yeah, that's where Nigeria's Golden Eaglets, they're taking on Ecuador at the FIFA on the 17 World Cup. Uh, it was Nigeria, of course, that said, look, we are not here to play. And so Ibrahim Said got the opener for Nigeria. And Ecuador, they clapped back. So it's 1-1. One, one. I think it's good test for them. They are young. And hey, remember, for me, no pressure at this stage. Yeah. Just discover talents. Yes, I, I said it also before the game. We'll look at the um, the coach trying out a three defense uh, a three defense line. Mm. Something that is almost alien to even teams around the world. Top teams have struggled mm. with, with three man defense. Yeah. So it is good that you're you're drilling. You're taking them through this drill at the age of 17 and below. So fantastic one learning call, like we call it. Um, it's not a do or die. But mm -hmm. I, I mentioned that uh, that this game Ecuador would be totally different from what you played uh, um, you, uh, Hungary because yeah. you're playing on South American side. That game was against an European side. Mm. Different setup entirely. Right. And um, the Ecuadorians can be very physical. We know too. what the South Americans do to yes. youth football. Yes. They invest they a lot invest in it. invest a lot. Mm. They, because it, it's, it's like a... a, a Part of their, uh, uh, it's, like, it's like a job. Some people are left there to properly develop because at the age of 15, 16, you must be ready to take on the world. You, it might not be at the level of the Ronaldos, but you must be ready to, because in no time you will be shipped into Europe. And if you don't have that fantastic talent at that level, you can't be talking about being uh, going to Europe at the age of 17 or 18 or 19. Mm. So it is, it is, an absolute test for the the uh, um, golden eaglets, and um, maybe they are keeping up with the heat of mm -hmm. uh, of the game. And I, I, I like that. I, I really want to see you know some other additional ideas technically, yeah. and these guys you know carrying it out on the pitch. I agree, and they are you know creating chances yeah. at the stage. They're still learning. Uh, and look, we've got good grassroots coaches with the team. Coach yeah. Manu Garba and Dukao yeah. Bade. I love and Dukao Bade. Yeah, <laughs> so maybe when you see that defense line, yeah. let's try something scientific. Yes, uh, yes. I, I can remember, you know, uh, off here, you and I were having this discussion. Mm -hmm. I said, some people have got eyes for, you know, developing the kids. Talent, yeah. Um, Wilfred Indidi was like 14, 15 mm -hmm. years ago when Indukai Ogbadi called a senior yes. colleague and said, this guy will captain yeah. the Super Ego someday. Yeah. And that person said, this skinny boy, but look <laughs> at today, doesn't he look like it? So he's got an mm. eye to see a talent in Discover. another 10 years. So yeah. uh, I, these are good setup. Let him, you know, sometimes we don't need all the shifting. I always take the example of Jose Peckerman. Mm. He worked with the Argentine, you know, youthful team from under 10, under 13, under 15, 17, under 23. There you go, progression. You know, all the way. Yeah. This guy understands them. You understand that what is. it is to be a mm -hmm. youth and be very exorbitant. And so if you're moving with him um, from one stage to another, he knows the and level of the football. The under 10. And he knows the players. At the, at the under the 23 UFC level, yeah. he's got eight players that graduated from the under 10 to yeah. that level. That's progress. That is progress. That's the progress. Messi's, the De Maria, they ah. all graduated like that. So ma ma massive progress. So you don't need coaches to move here and there. Yeah. Some coaches have got eye for kids. Yeah. They know how to unduka. Uh, I think Okon, Okon. Mm. In another 10 years, it will be star. It will be everywhere. <laughs> 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 so that's it. A Nigeria won, Ecuador won at the FIFA on the 17 World Cup. We'll continue to monitor that one. The match is approaching half time now. Um, hopefully the Golden Eaglets will turn things around yeah. at that time. Hopefully. Uh, we'll, co we'll go back to that. We're monitoring it. But let's see what's going on with table tennis in Nigeria. The president of the Nigeria Table Tennis Federation, uh, Mr. Shaku Tikon, uh, is, is calling on table tennis coaches. He said, come, 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 guys. Come take advantage of the various coaching programs provided by the Federation. Why should you do this? in order to develop themselves and produce quality players. We've talked about train the trainers because yes. everybody just talk about the players, yes. the players. Look, Pep says, I'm as good as my player. Yeah, if he's not that good, he cannot be able to tell. <laughs> Look, that's why some players don't listen to coaches yes. because they know you don't understand current trends of the game. <laughs> and they, they, they attack from here, go defend from here. You're not Coach saying you anything. Uh, uh, <laughs> when when uh, the first, uh, I think the first week or second week where Ronaldo met Zidane as the coach of Real Madrid. Yeah. Uh, Zidane told them all to, you know, try out free kicks and he, he was like, free kicks, <laughs> that's my food. And Zidane said, okay, don't start yet. I would start. 
and he took 10 and scored 9 out of, you know, 10 free kicks. When Ronaldo took to the same spot, he scored 3. That coach will speak to you any day, mm. anytime, and you will listen. Of course. Because he can do what even you are still imagining. So, mm. the coach, um, train the trainer, you know, check out the coaches. I think it's one angle we don't always look at. We yeah. always look at the players, the athletes, you know, the gladiators that go into, you know, the main. But the coaches that put them through. Because no matter how good you are, Shego Toriola, um, they all need coaches one way or the other. And to, we need to replace them too. So of as course, we just said the about coaches that would discover, Indukao, Badi, you need discovery. to discover Se it's Seriously, talent. and look mm. at what he ruled out. They went for a course out of 15 coaches, only three was able to pass. Uh, that is so sad. So 12, uh, it's not 12 passing and three failing. Yeah. If it were to be that, I'd be like, okay, maybe those three are not uh, maybe serious. But if three out of 15 yeah. is passing, then there yeah. is something fundamentally wrong. Uh, and I like the fact that mm. the, the president of the NTTF yeah. is calling out on this guy so saying, out. come out. Yeah. Why? Come develop you yourself. Know, I, I have a colleague who questions coaches every now and then. Sometimes I always feel it's too hard on them. Uh, but, but when you sit back and yeah. think of it, if you don't have something inside, uh, how can you help a player develop? Finish. You've said it all. So somebody say, what's going on with Arsenal? Why is Xhaka like this? I say, ask Unai. <laughs> ask the coach. He's what, about coaching. What is he telling yeah, them? Yeah, that's what everything is all yeah. about. Let's go to uh, that one, get some talking points. Ishaku Ishak Tikon is the president of the Nigeria Table Tennis Federation. He says, coaches, come out. Develop yourselves. So out of the 15 participants, we have only three that scale through. Four, sorry, point of contrition. Um, I know one of the reasons. And I'm working assiduously to source for materials that will help you in your next exams. Furthermore, through Nigerian Olympic Committee, I will be pushing for 70% level one and 30% level two courses, respectively, from ITTF. One important value of a coach is to produce a quality player at all levels. And these players that will be produced will be integrated into the Nigerian Tabletonian Federation pool for further nurturing. The, among my cardinal programs for developing our coaches dwelling on national spray, that I have started implementing without announcement is the exposing of coaches to international tournaments and championships. So that's what it is, expose them, let them go out there, see the way that foreign coach um, is talking to his player, how he's understanding the game, and so that they will gain some good exposure. That's with the development of table tennis in Nigeria. Let's talk about league football now. We're getting ready to the, for the start of the new season, November the 3rd. Put that down. Uh, the long-awaited league, the Nigeria Professional Football League, will kick off. Um, we always have a segment called Know Your Club. Whenever a new season is coming tonight on, on the program, we are going to profile... Aqua United, know your club segment. Well, Aqua United, who, who, who are they? Uh, what do they do? What makes them think in the Nigeria Professional Football League? Uh, the club was founded in 1996. The nickname of Aqua United, just in case you don't know, is the Promise Keepers. Uh, the stadium is the Gospel Akpabio Stadium in uh, Uyo Aqua Ibom State. They have a Twitter handle at Aqua United FC. We have a website, Aqua United FC. That that's, we'll go check to be sure it's working. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just give us an address. We'll go and check. The administrator is Mr. Paul Bassi, veteran sports journalist and a big time colleague. Uh, of ours and um, the head coach they just unveiled him yesterday yeah. uh, John Ogu and the captain is Otto Bong F. Young Aqua United uh, I've been showing themselves recently yes. but um, the league titles just keeps evading them he keeps evading them yeah. especially when um, the <laughs> the governor came in and called himself Uncommon Governor the stadium is called Uncommon Stadium yeah. and they do uncommon things like the unveiling that we always mm -hmm. see for like three four seasons now that unveiling is always like the toast of everybody yeah it's, when they do, when Aqua does their unveiling, it seems the league is about to start. We don't care whoever unveils or not. So, you know, maybe this is the time everything is being put together. 
like Man City, like Aqua United. Yeah. There are times a lot of things evade you, even as much as you put in the work. But yeah. it is a build up for something beautiful. Yeah. And I know maybe this is the season where Aqua United, mm. but this is my advice to Aqua. Yeah. It is not an abridged season like last season yeah. where you run into the playoffs. Yeah, it the, is the marathon. It is the entire and you know they started league. so badly. They always start yeah. very badly. Uh -huh. For two, three seasons now, Aqua will start. The first eight games is always like, are you sure this Aqua will come off? You yeah. know what they're. But they will eventually they come do, out. Yeah. But if they can start very good this time, yeah. which is you know a stretch, so that at match day uh, at match day 28, yeah. you won't be among the, those guys. Maybe in the seventh position, ninth position. Position, mm. you should be in the third and fourth so that it is a, an entire race to the end. So uh, uh, they just have to have a good start this time. So you're saying the new players uh, that were unveiled yesterday, yeah. Yeah. 15 of them, are saying, Welcome to Aqua United. When you bring 15 players, you still wondering, How are they going to blend? How are they going to gel? But hey, that's for the coach to worry. The new coach of Aqua United <laughs> is John Obu. Uh, let's go to Uyo, the Aquabum State's capital, where uh, John Obu is standing by to speak to us on the show. Good evening, coach. Welcome to Sports Tonight. Yeah, good evening, uh, Austin, and uh, uh, watching uh, those that are watching channel television. Yeah, good to have you on the show. It's Aqua United, uh, Coach John Obu. Uh, how difficult or easy was it for you to make the decision to join Aqua United? Well, that has been my ambition for some time. Uh, I started not seeing the ambition of uh, coaching Aqua United uh, 10 years back. Most of the times it's always been rumored that uh, I am being shortlisted as part of the coach that is going to take over Aqua United, even while I was in a club. So now that the thing came, I, I don't have to waste time to take it because it's an organized club. Mm, I was going to get into that. I want you to tell me more. What makes uh, it easy for you to join Aqua United? Uh, well, I think um, the time that uh, they were asking for the CVs of coaches, I submitted mine. And uh, luckily enough, I was uh, called for an interview. I traveled uh, to Uyo to uh, attend to the interview, and uh, the interview was nice. The questions that was coming was very, very uh, intelligent questions and more technical. In fact, to, to compare to most of the places that I have gone for an interview. Uh, considering the fact that they have a very good pitch, they have a good administrator, and uh, they have uh, been at the forefront of uh, Nigerian football for some time now. Uh, what I mean is recently. And uh, the governor is uh, very willing to sponsor the team. All they required is just for them to make a mark. The sponsorship will always be there and it will always be good. Every coaches are looking for that kind of opportunity to coach a team with such kind of uh, strength in sponsorship. Mm. So those are the factors that actually made me to, to join Aqua United. Awesome, understandable. Uh, Coach John Obu, the target is to win the league title with Aqua United. Is that realistic? Yeah, very, very. Uh, if a team has uh, gotten to the extent of winning night Cup for two times, and they do a bridge, but they finish top, uh, luckily uh, at the Super 6, that they lost out. They have always been, uh, you know, being forced to, to fight. I think the next thing they're actually looking for is uh, the league championship, uh, league champions, which they're actually looking for. And that is what everybody is looking forward for. Uh, it's not a tall, a tall uh, order. I just want to believe that we can. Uh, it's a project that everybody is so much interested on. The new players, the old players, the coaches that have just come, like me and my uh, assistant, and the ones that were there already, everybody's working very hard. We think we can do it. Mm. Talk to me about this um, new 15 players. As a coach, um, you would think that you want a team that is already established. Won't it be difficult trying to get new players to join uh, the current mix of players at Aqua United? Well, you don't blame uh, such kind of massive recruitment on anybody because Aqua United is, has been a target. So most of the times, there are players 
are always uh, uh, having opportunities to play for clubs, more, more especially abroad. So when you have these kind of situations where you have some of the players who travel ab abroad to go and uh, uh, play for the Guinea Pass, so you don't have any, any alternative than to replace them. Uh, the most important thing is not just replacing them, it's about the quality of replacement that uh, we had. So uh, with that kind of experienced replacement, I'm sure blending is not going to be a problem. And in fact, it has not been a problem. Mm. Coach John Obu, I must say thank you so much for your time. I know you're watching that match between Nigeria and Ecuador. Quickly, give, give me your thoughts. Give me your thoughts about that match. Uh, well, I, I, I like the attacking uh, 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 force of a uh, Nigerian team. Uh, but the only problem I don't like is their finishing. They are being too much in the heads when they get to the attacking third. So they need to calm down so that they're able to score their goal. And the Ecuadors are using a sort of counter against us. So they, they really have to provide defense in every of the attack mm. so that they're able to avoid the counter in case it comes. Thank you so much, Coach. All the best uh, to you and your team uh, as we await the start of the new season. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much, Austin. That's it. Uh, new coach of Aqua United, uh, John Obu. He says winning the league title is realistic. Very realistic. Um, we said it before he came on. They look like that team every season for like three, four seasons now. Mm. To be, you know, uh, if you if you take out Aimba, Rangers, Cano Pillars, I think Aqua United just easily comes into, you know, the equation. So it looks very realistic. That is why he says start early, start mm. good, start racking up the points. At the end of the day, you might just get in there. People lose points you know uh, at uh, different weekends or different match day maybe you might just be the top gainer and it's a good team yes Obu, Duke it's Udi. A, yes and look at the players uh, uh in fine is unveiled as one of but he just spent out one season not even up to a season where he went um uh to a foreign club in the far uh far north africa so he's back so he understands all of this setup and he's that man that controls the midfield so just one or two addition from the new players and it's still it's still a good side that will, that will compete so we'll wait to see november the third know yeah. your club tonight <laughs> just profiled aqua united the promise keepers uh, what can they do can they keep that promise that is realistic to win the league title i don't know football will give us the answer <laughs> let's go to uh brazil find out what's going on in that match between nigeria and Ecuador at the FIFA on the 17 World Cup is still 1 1. Could John Obu says they should be calm, take their chances, score more goals? But hey, it's football. So we'll continue to monitor to see uh, how that one is going to end. More action uh, at the FIFA on the 17 World Cup tomorrow. Don't forget, it's not just Nigeria yeah. uh, playing tonight, uh, there's also Angola, African brothers yeah. taking on Ecuador. Canada. Canada uh, yeah. Very, very interesting match also. And we are monitoring it tomorrow. Uh, more action at the FIFA on the 17 World Cup where South Korea will take on France. The Netherlands will take on Senegal, while the United States of America will play Japan. Chile will take on Haiti. And look, so far in the, the opening round, it was good for Africa. Yeah, except for Cameroon that lost. Yeah. Um, Angola, um, Senegal and Nigeria all did well. And uh, we're always doing well at this level. Yeah. Trust me, Africa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. five-time world champions. Yeah. Yeah. The golden eaglets yeah. of Nigeria. Let's go on this quick break. When we come back, more updates from the FIFA on the 17 World Cup. What's going on with football in Bulgaria? I'll tell you, don't go anywhere. Stay. Welcome back, Sports Tonight on Channels Television. We're broadcasting live from our sports center in Lagos, Nigeria. What's going down? We're taking a look at the FIFA Under-17 World Cup. It's Nigeria taking on Ecuador. It's still 1-1. Um, both sides playing for some bragging rights. You win that one, you go top of the group. Uh, I think the Golden Eagles they have what it takes to go on to win this in the second half. Yes, they do. <laughs> in particular, Amal, everybody's waiting to, to, to have him, you know, come on and mesmerize yeah. the way he did against Hungary. It might be a bit tougher this time, but it looks like a young man that understands what he needs to come to the pitch to do. So we, we, we've got what it takes. Just win so many incentives, go, on, go top of the table, mm -hmm. qualify for next round. So, you know, so many things for you to gain if you win this one. Awesome. Updates coming from at the FIFA under 17 World Cup, it's now Angola 1. Canada zero. I we talked about African, African teams, teams yeah. and uh, pretty, pretty good, pretty good. And um, it tells us that we should 
keep developing yes. at the grassroots. Yes. Get the right guys to play at this level. To play at so, this level yeah, and the get the right thing. gaffers, mm -hmm. you know, to steer them together at this yeah. level. So yeah. I, I think that's just what you need to do. Awesome. Let's get on with the show now. Let me let you know. Thank you so much, Kenny, for it's, stopping it's, by. It's lovely. It's for lovely. Doing this with it's lovely to be here. <laughs> and of course, to you, wherever you are in the world watching sports tonight on Channels Television. Thank you so much for being part of the show. Remember, you can keep talking to us. Yes, you can. On Twitter, Channels underscore sports, Facebook, Channels IFN Sports. That's the show for the team, the ever reliable sports team at Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm Austin Okonakwan. In everything you do, remember. Let's keep talking sports by for now. This week on Just Nigeria, from prisons to correctional service, Beyond the name change, what is really different about Nigeria's holding facilities? And we chat with four ladies daring to face the odds in male-dominated professions. The stories that matter to you. Join us for Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels TV. saying in Nigeria, a good name is better than gold. At First Bank, we know that our reputation built on award-winning services is what keeps us in the coveted position of market leader. A reputation for understanding our customers' modern lifestyles and business needs. You first. First Bank. When coffers, take Coffex for relief. Take Coffex. Coffex. With Coffex Cough Syrup, there's no way for cough. Take Coffex for effective relief of coughs in adults, children, and infants above three months. Coffex is made by SKG Pharma Limited and available in pharmacies nationwide. Cough, 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 cough. Take Coffex and start that cough. Are you in governance? You need public speaking. Are you in business? You need public speaking. Are you a professional? You need public speaking. Let